Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use a data model in Excel to store multiple tables of information that can then be used as a data source for pivot tables and pivot charts as well as power view reports. Note that the choice to add a selected table to a data model is given when manually creating a pivot table in Excel. This effectively allows you to use a relational data source within Excel. Starting in Excel 2016, Excel automatically creates relationships between tables in the data model when your analysis requires two or more tables to be linked together. However, you can also manually create relationships between the data within the table fields in Excel, relating them as needed for your reports. The tables saved into the data model within an Excel workbook can be tables within Excel worksheets or external data tables. In this lesson, you will learn how to create a data model within Excel from external relational data, such as a Microsoft Access database file. If you choose to import multiple tables from an existing relational data source, the data model will be created automatically. To import multiple tables from an external relational data source, click the Data tab within the ribbon, and then click the desired button within the Get External Data button group. For example, if you wanted to add tables from an Access database to the data model in Excel, click the From Access button within the Get External Data button group on the Data tab within the ribbon. In this case, the Select Data Source dialog box will appear. You can then use this dialog box to navigate to and then select the desired Access database file to open. Then click the Open button to continue. Next, you will see the Select Table dialog box appear. To enable the selection of multiple tables from the database file, be sure to check the Enable Selection of Multiple Tables checkbox at the top of this dialog box. Then check the checkboxes next to the tables that you want to add to the data model in the Excel workbook. Then click the OK button to continue. You will then see the Import Data dialog box appear within Excel. You can then choose the option that you prefer within the Select How You Want to View This Data Within Your Workbook section. You can then choose where to place the imported data by selecting an option within the Where Do You Want to Put the Data section. Note that depending upon the choice made in the first section, not every option will necessarily be available within the latter section. Once you've decided where to place the type of data that you want to import, click the OK button to finish. At that point, Excel will create the data connection and then import the necessary data into the data model within Excel. It will also create any visual representation of the data that you chose to import and place it into the selected location. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.